to enter through my window falling. Hi folks, so here is the video tutorial for Walking Asleep from my album Still Mind Still. So this is uh, finger picking during the verses and like with many of the other songs that we've seen so far, it's all about the thumb. <laughs> Again, gets its own string, except for the thumb. The thumb is moving between the fifth string and the sixth string, but my index finger is on the fourth string, middle finger is on the third string, uh, ring finger is on the, on the second string, and they're just picking out the melody of that C chord. And if we look at the C chord, um, it's really just like the first, the fifth, and the octave, and then the open, uh, open B string. And it's just staying static, except for the index finger that's going between the third fret on the fifth string and the third fret on the sixth string. And that's what you're doing in the verses. Woke to winter through my window falling Though I swore it was spring I could measure the progress stalling In the snow covering Into the chorus I'm walking asleep A minor F major C with a G in the bass And then I pull off uh, my third finger Little suspended So that's going to cover you, that little pattern is going to cover you all the way through the next verse, all the way through the next chorus. Again, you just play the chorus for longer, but it's always just A minor, F major, C with the G in the bass. Again, just moving that middle finger on and off, this second fret on the third string, on the fourth string. on through the end of the chorus and then we come to the build which is again almost the same chords walking asleep now hold on the F do the best of my C with the G in the bass to an E minor to an A minor at this point I'll, you would have picked up a pick to an F C with the G in the bass. Starts building. And this is the exact same pattern that's going to be happening through the whole outro. The only thing that's going to change... Uh, uh, sorry. The only thing that's going to change is um, rather than going to the E minor, uh, the first and third time once I start singing, it's going to go to a G major. So E minor is the relative minor of the G chord. Um, so that's just sort of a little subtle thing that gives a, a bit of a, a bit of a lift and a bit of variety to the verses playing the same pattern over and over again. So I'll show you how that goes. So in the build, uh, when the, the poem's happening, again it's C over G to the E minor to the A minor to the F. Right? Now when I start singing, so I went it goes to the G. With no direction in my A minor. Just to be to be done F. With this C over G. Now it's gonna go to the E minor. Changing 
I'm going to E minor. Again, same pattern over and over. The only thing that changes is, like I said, the first and the third time on the one, you go to the G, and the second and fourth time, you go to the E minor. Uh, and in the build part, you're only ever going to the E minor. So that way, when you do hit that G, it's a nice little lift. Um, but beyond that, that's it. And the song ends with the outro. See you now, do the best of my life. And it just, you bring it home with that same pattern that we did at the beginning. That's it. That's Walking Asleep. I look forward to seeing your version. <laughs>